Hello everyone, this is Spring Heart the Llama, and this year I participated in my first Inktober. If you follow me on DA, you know I don't do traditional art. At least, I haven't done so in several years. And that's for several reasons, like lack of confidence in my own work, blurry lines, and just a lack of skill. I even used to do digitally drawn art, but for the same reasons, and my baby tablet pen is really messed up, so I stopped. Drawing traditionally and just improving my art skills overall has been something I've wanted to do for a while now and have been trying to do so. And what better way to do so than with Inktober! So that's what I did. Tried new things, explored, and just was creative. So if you're thinking of doing Inktober, you might be one of those people who are like, whoa, 30 days? That seems like a lot. And to me, that seems like a lot as well. But rest assured, according to the official rules, you set the pace. This isn't a race. You aren't competing to see who's the best. You pick what you want to do and you go for it. And I don't think enough people talk about that rule because all the videos I ended up watching about Inktober before I started talk about doing the entire 30 days. And that can be extremely intimidating for some people. So I set a goal for myself since this was my first Inktober of doing five drawings total. And to make sure that I stayed on top of things, I wrote down which prompts interested me the most in my day planner so I wouldn't miss them. And I ended up doing nine, which I was super proud of. The whole experience was just really relaxing. I found myself actually wanting to do more prompts as I was doing the prompts. I just didn't have the time and energy to do them with my previous engagements this month. And if you did do Inktober this month, even one drawing Drawing, I want you to pause this video and pat yourself on the back. You took the time to challenge yourself, so good job. My Inktober supplies. So since this was my first Inktober, I went and purchased a few supplies because I didn't have any black or gray markers, but I owned most of my supplies already. So I had my handy dandy sketchbook, which I actually draw in backwards. For some odd reason, I find I draw better if I draw backwards. I know it's weird, but that's just how I, my brain works. Some classy number two HB lead 0 0.0 millimeter mechanical pencils from Staples. I find these bad boys don't leave blurry lines on my pages like some other pencils I bought as a teenager and tried to draw with. That mistake will haunt me for the rest of my life. And those pencils now sit in a mug of shame above my desk. Mug of shame. My giant nerdy eraser. Don't ask me where I got it, because I got it as a gift. My set of pro markers. I was tempted to go pick up a few corporate markers, but those are a bit pricey and I didn't want to buy something and not use them. In retrospect, I should have gone out and bought a black marker at least. And some spare paper because pro markers leak through my sketchbook paper. So keep that in mind if you pick up pro markers. They're really pretty, but oh boy, do they leak. My Tombow brush pen. I used this a lot for the lining of my drawings in black, but I also had some nice cool little fun fine liners on standby should I need to fix a line or draw a smaller line. And I know this is technically cheating because it's not ink, but I also used some Prismacolor pencil crayons. One of the days I didn't have enough markers to do what I wanted to, and I figured, hey, this is a great opportunity for you to refresh yourself on drawing with wax -it pencil crayons. So that's exactly what I did. And now for what I actually picked up, Inktober Supply Haul. What, what? So I picked up these two packs of Fiber Castle Pit Art Pen Brushes. One pack is Shades of Grey and the other is a basic pack. I used the grey pack a lot. Though I will warn you, the brushes do leave like these weird little fluffs all over the page, which is kind of weird. It might have to do with the India ink. I've never used this type of ink before, so don't quote me on that. Though they don't leak through the page like the pro markers do. 
and they are really easy to use. Doing Inktober for the first time, I think these are a really good purchase for $20 each. I found them very handy. And I picked up a white Uni Pasca marker, and I cannot recommend this marker enough. If you pick up nothing else, pick up one of these sweet, sweet markers. It will make your life drawing in traditional art so much easier. It's basically white paint in a marker. It will save you just so much time and energy because you just add your, your white spots after the fact. Like it's mwah, 10 out of 10. I love this marker. Tips for doing Inktober. So if you're interested in doing Inktober next year, here are my three main tips. One, set a goal. Remember, you don't have to do all 30 days. If you do all 30 days, that is awesome. But, you know, maybe you're going to school or you're a parent or, you know, you have Canadian Thanksgiving in October. The important thing about Inktober is to challenge yourself and to try new things. Two, think about the prompts ahead of time. Just let your mind wander with the possibilities for each prompt you want to do. And if the day rolls around and you have no idea what you're going to do, go onto Twitter, DA, or Instagram and just browse through other people's art to get your mind brainstorming. And also go show those artists some love while you're at it. We're all in this crazy Inktober together. Three, try new things. I would encourage you to look up video tutorials and other people's prompts to learn new ways to draw. This Inktober, I tried several different techniques that I never would have thought of if I hadn't looked up different people's works. So just get creative and explore. Heck, I even did a draw the squad meme one day and a Sailor Moon redraw another day. And for the Sailor Moon redraw, I used a lot of techniques I learned from a video about how to draw with corporate markers. So my overall experience with this Inktober was a very positive one. Sure, some of my drawings have flaws like I didn't wait for the ink to dry before coloring, or a line wasn't drawn right, or a technique didn't turn out quite the way I had planned, but I ended up trying new things. I just let the creative juices flow, and I got feedback from friends and followers. I did things this month I probably never would have done if it hadn't been for the prompts presented before me. So next year, if you're thinking of doing this, I would encourage you to just go for it. Shake off those nervous Nellies and just do it. Try something new and just have fun with it. So now I want to hear from you. Did you do Inktober? How did it go? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is Springheart the Llama signing off and reminding you all it's okay to be a drama llama every once in a while. Special shout out to my patrons who keep my channel going because I get zero ad revenue. If you like what you see, consider becoming a patron or throwing a steamy hot coffee my way. Warning, please don't actually throw coffee at me because coffee is hot. Links are in the description down below.